So you started the shot. You know, the shot. The weight loss shot that everybody's talking about. Um, not really sure I can say the names, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's great. But now what? Hey mama, welcome to Holistic Help for Moms. Do you want to lose weight and have more energy? Do you find yourself up late at night searching Google about hormones, weight loss, and how to get healthy? Do you wake up with big ambitious goals only to feel overwhelmed and frustrated when the scale doesn't move and you look five months pregnant after eating again? Hey, I'm Jennifer. I'm a mom of three, a conventional health nurse practitioner that also believes in natural and holistic health. I kept hearing my patients tell me that they were overwhelmed, tired, and couldn't lose weight. They were overwhelmed with all the health and weight loss information out there. It hurt my heart to see women who wanted answers and solutions to only be given prescriptions and vague directions like eat better and exercise. They needed to get out of the traditional healthcare box and I wanted to help. So I created this podcast. In this podcast, you'll learn about optimizing your health and transforming your mindset. You'll learn about tools to help you build on what you know is right for you and reclaim the energy and health you know you should have. If this sounds like you, raise your hand and say present and accounted for, and let's get this party started. So your insurance finally approved you for the shot. I mean, I'm assuming that you've had that problem because I feel like all of my patients have. <laughs> um, if so, that's great. I, you know, I'm glad for you, I guess. Are you glad? I'm not sure. Anyway, so what this episode is about is not about whether the shot is good, bad, ugly, whatever. This is about <clears throat> what your game plan is while you're on the shot or when you stop the shot or anything in between, okay? First of all, what is your game plan to keep your current muscle mass, maintain your weight loss when you reach your weight goal, and then what happens when you want to come off the shot or have to come off the shot? All right, so let's address the first question. How to keep your muscle mass? Because let me tell you, you're going to lose weight, but some of that weight is going to be muscle if you do not prioritize keeping what you have. And it's going to seem like it falls off because muscle weighs more than fat. Not really, just kidding. Um, <laughs> but you're going to become flabby and that's not real cool. Like, yeah, you're going to fit in your clothes, uh, you know, they're not going to be as tight, but then you still want to have that tone look, right? Like you still want to look like in shape. Anyway, so what you want to do is prioritize your protein at each meal or with every snack. You have to eat the protein to keep and or gain muscle, period. That's with, with the shot or without the shot, okay? You have to, have to. Um, and then these sources, lean like protein sources, can be chicken breast, turkey breast, fish, pork tenderloin, egg whites, um, chickpeas, lentils, quinoa, nuts, seeds. There's all kinds of choices, whether you are a meat eater or not a meat eater, okay? The other thing is to lift weights. We want muscle. Muscle is good. Um, and as a woman, you're not going to look like a man. I don't care how much weight that you lift unless you actually go out and actively try to look Jack Swall, lifting your 5, 10, 15, 20 pound weights, okay, is not going to make you look manly. But it is going to help you maintain your muscle mass, which, yes, yay, we won't, okay? And it is also going to strengthen your bones, which we don't really think about, right? As women, let me think about how we look, but not what's deep down inside, organs, bones, joints, but it's going to help prevent osteoporosis and strengthen your bones so that you can decrease your risk of breaking, you know, bones like a hip when you're older. Okay. When you fall, you're less likely to break a, break a bone, hip, arm, whatever. 
And that's just, that's just, you know, leading to a better life in general. So I know I just led you down a really long path from taking a shot today to being 70 years old and falling down some steps. But that is the reality of what we're looking at. Our health now, what we do now to our body is going to affect us when we're older. And I'm not sure about you, but I want to be able to keep up with my grandkids like my granddaddy does in his 80s. My granddaddy was out in the backyard playing baseball with my five-year-old yesterday. I want to be that way when I'm 80-something. I'm not sure about you. So it's very important that we look at our health and wellness now in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, wherever you are right now, because that's going to reflect in our 70s, 80s, you know, 90s if you want to live that long. It's up to you you know, what what your goals are. But that being said, okay, we talked about how to maintain your muscle mass. Now, ask yourself, what's going to happen when you reach your, your weight goal? Have you thought about that? Did you, did your provider talk to you about that? Now, this is definitely a discussion that you want to have with your healthcare provider, right? Because um, there are several options, Um, I am not giving medical information, never, ever, ever on this podcast do I give medical advice. I'm just sharing information. But what I do know is that while you're on this shot, you need to start working on your healthy eating habits so that for some reason, the shot becomes available, your provider stops giving it, your insurance changes, Or, you know, you reach your goal weight and you're like, okay, well, now what? You will have those healthy eating habits in place so that you don't blow up when you have to come off of it, okay? Now, if you don't have those healthy lifestyle habits in place when you come off the shot and you're still living the way you did before, then you're going to pack the weight back on and it is not going to be in a good way. Okay? Uh, Plain and simple. Like, that's with the shots, with Adipex, with any weight loss medication. While you're on it, if you do not set yourself up for success while you're on these medications, you are about to start a very vicious up and down cycle. And we do not want that. You do not want that. Okay? Because it can turn ugly, quick, fast, and in a hurry. So, I want you to set yourself up for success now and start making the changes today. How you do that is up to you. But, if you are ready to start making those changes today to keep the weight off, I want you to go check out my Healthy Habits Blueprint course. This is for mamas that are busy, that don't have a whole lot of time. It is three modules where you're going to go through the, um, and go through your mindset, overcoming obstacles and distractions, identifying and replacing your bad habits that got you in this, in this mess in the first place. Okay. And then together, we're going to build a sustainable, healthy habit plan that's going to help you maintain the weight that you have lost. Okay. That way, You can continue to feel good in your own skin. You can continue to have the energy. You can continue to eat clean and, you know, protein-rich meals and fruits and vegetables. And you're going to stick to them, okay? And you're going to continue to be able to keep up with your kids and have all the fun because you set yourself up for success, okay? So, This course is for you if you want to set yourself up for success when you get off these shots, if you're on the shots or whatever you're on, or if you're not on the shots and you just want to lose some weight. Hey, this is for you and it is super affordable. So I want you to head over to jennifercobel.com forward slash course right now. Check out the Healthy Habits Blueprint and I cannot wait to get started on your health and wellness journey today. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, mama. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and subscribe to my email list? By signing up, you get my free meal planning template to help you start optimizing your health today. 
Also, if you could leave me a review, this helps this podcast rate, helps more sisters see it, and it lights me up to know this podcast is helping you. Okay, time to go make sure the clothes are washed, ball uniforms are ready, and snacks are prepared for this week full of games and chaos. I'll meet you back next week for another episode. Have a great week, sisters.